Okay, so since this is my last day here, um, going to more to LA, I'm just going to show you the area I've been hanging out the most in, which is called the Castro. Um, the Castro has like a whole other history from back in the days, revolving the uh, homosexuality being accepted. And there's a movie made about it, and this street is actually where most of the stuff happened. If you're interested in learning about this, you can try and check out the movie called Milk. Um, just like you spell milk. It's really amazing and as you can see they got rainbow crossings and it's like rainbow everywhere because that's the, the gay pride flag got up there as well. So yeah, it's um, an incredible area. I enjoy being here. This is my favorite part of the city and uh, there's just so much to do. If you are visiting uh, San Francisco, definitely go and check out Castro even if you're not gay or not. Still enjoy it, seeing the higher life and all that. But it's amazing. I'm going to show you some nice shoots and figure out what else I can do. So here you go guys, just a little information about Harvey Milk. If you want to read this, you can pause the video. Um, he was killed a year before me. If you see the movie, you'll see how he got killed. I'm not going to tell you about it, but it's a sad story. But the man did so much for the whole gay movement. Um, it's amazing and it's really an inspiring movie. And it's worth watching even though, I mean, don't worry, it's not about sex and anything like that. It's about the acceptance of being gay and stuff like that, which is today should be normally everywhere. There's still a lot of people out there who don't accept it the same way we do, but hey, I am, so I'm supposed to <laughs> accept it. But yeah, um, it's really interesting, and the movie is good. Uh, I believe it's Sean Penn who got the uh, the role. I'm not too sure, but this nice place here is actually dedicated to him, and it's called the Harvey Milk Plaza. If I try and reverse out, you'll see. Another charming thing about San Francisco with the old trams they have, I think that's really cool. And yeah, this whole area here got like rainbows everywhere. You even got like stores who only specialize in having like gay oriented stuff. You can see like in here you can get like marriage figures and stuff like that. I'm gonna go and have a look shortly. Um, see if I can find a little something for Paul. But it's, it's a beautiful and amazing area and I'd highly recommend if you're gonna visit San Francisco, you should definitely come here and have a look around it. And hopefully the weather is as good as it is right now. <laughs> I'm just going to go and have a look at that store. And then after that I will uh, pop um, into a bar. 
have a couple of beers, and then uh, I'll try and do some time light later on when it's dark, so you guys can see all the magic lights. Because Castro is nice when it's dark too. It's not just with daylight. It's beautiful at night time too. Um, but all of San Francisco basically is very pretty. But uh, yeah, my last day. I believe I've been here a week already. Let's hope that I'm gonna have just as much fun in LA as I have here. This is Castro night time, and I just want to show you guys how beautiful it is. I just had a beer and said good night, because. I will not be back at Castro in a long time, if I believe right. I will be missing this place terribly. This is wonderful here. But anyways guys, uh, off to LA in the morning. Hopefully LA will be just as fun and good as this has been. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, catch you guys soon. My Uber arrives shortly, so... Uh, oh, and the moon is out. Right there. <laughs> Beautiful evening, hardly any wind, it's nice and warm, and uh, I said goodbye to the friends I made while I was here. And now I am just heading back home to the hotel, pre-packing a few things, and then uh, I'm just gonna check my Uber. I think I had like a message saying that he's here now. You should come by the San Francisco Castro Theater. I think I was here. Let me just have a look. Five, six, eight. Five, six, eight. There we go. Okay. So I'll uh, catch you guys later.